He's doing carnivore. He's been keto for a long time. He works with Professor Tim Noakes down in South Africa, who's a big proponent of, of keto training as an athlete. He thinks that's better. He's one of the top um, you know, exercise you know, uh, medicine doctors, sports physiologists in the world, has been for decades. He's a professor in the area for decades. And he was all about, you know, you got a carb load, you got a carb load, you got a carb load. Then he went, oh my God, I'm wrong. And I've been lying to people for 30 years. Obviously he wasn't lying. He just, you know, was, uh, he thought one thing and then he found evidence to the contrary. And, and as an honest scientist, doctor, and, and someone who actually is trying to help people instead of trying to help himself, he admitted that and went, oh, hey guys, I, I think I got this wrong. Um, and, and I think it's, it's over here now. Now he's doing a lot of work showing that. So you can look into that. You can also look into uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Peter Brunkner, who's down in Australia. He's, a, he's again, another uh, sports medicine doctor, exercise physiologist, and, and one of the top in the world. He's worked with uh, actually the Australian uh, cricket national uh, team in Australia. And apparently they were getting thumped by, you know, it, at one year. He got to them, got them on a low carb program. And they just came back and just started slamming other teams and started, uh, they, they went sort of 0 and 5. They like just lost this massive, you know, five days in a row of the test matches against England. And then six months later, they beat England five to nothing. And he's, you know, coming up in the top five of, you know, these, these high level endurance cyclists and things like that. And he, and he rides fasted. You know, he doesn't eat before and he doesn't have to refuel. All these other guys are dying. They're, oh my God. And they're just sucking down these sugar packets. And he, uh, he doesn't, he's just, he's just drinking water and just going. And he feels, feels good, solid the whole way through. Does a great presentation there about the physiology on why it's actually a, an advantage to not eat carbohydrates when you're training, especially when you're, uh, you know, doing endurance training and things like that. Uh, Professor Brunkner has also worked with other teams around here. There are other teams, um, uh, you know, the, the New Zealand All Blacks, right? The you know, most dominant rugby teams in history. They, uh, they've been low carb for the last few years now. It, it, is, it, it is the biggest advantage that, that no one is taking, taking advantage of. And, you know, even just go in carnivore, like you, you will see your testosterone go up by 50 to 100 percent, right? your growth hormone will increase by nearly the same. The growth hormone action and function will increase as well because when you're eating carbohydrates and your insulin goes up, insulin is a major, major, major keystone hormone. It affects so many other hormones. One of them is growth hormone. Insulin suppresses the secretion and action of growth hormone. So if you're if you're eating a bunch of carbs, bunch of carbs, bunch of carbs, your insulin is going to stay up. That's going to suppress your body from making growth hormone, men secrete growth hormone, a bit of growth hormone every 60 minutes, women every 90 minutes. And then after you go to sleep, you get your biggest doses of growth hormone. If your insulin is up, you are suppressing that secretion. But what little comes out is now being curtailed as well because the action of growth hormone is now is, is being blocked by insulin as well. You know, uh, eating a bunch of red meat, is gonna have um, carnitine in it, right? carnitine has been shown to increase your testosterone receptors, right? So your testosterone levels are going to go up for most people and your receptors are going to go up as well. And it also brings down your cortisol, right? So this is, this is extremely beneficial. I mean, this is, I mean, this is just like just athletics 101. Like you want your hormones up and you want your, your, your cortisol down. You want your testosterone growth hormone up. You want your cortisol down.